Let's do a deep dive on a feature known as instant experiences. Instant experiences are kind of like micro websites for your brand that exist within Facebook itself. So what these enable you to do is to build these little micro experiences without needing to go ahead and build your own website or your own landing page or without needing to link to your website or landing page with some sort of interface with the Facebook system. So the first key question is, why bother with instant experiences in the first place? Why not just get your own website or use a website that you already have? And there are two basic reasons. The first is that instant experiences are an easy way to segment out a narrow audience, the kind of audience that you want to invest more heavily in because they're perhaps more likely to make a purchase in the short run rather than heavily advertising to everyone within your target audience. So you can retarget anyone who opens the instant experience. Now, when you're doing advertising on a channel like LinkedIn, you can easily retarget anyone who clicked or engaged with an ad. With Facebook, that's not so easy. So often what you end up relying on is the pixel that you have to install on your website or landing page. And then what you're able to do is retarget people who visit your website uh, as an alternative to a basic engagement retargeting, which you can do in LinkedIn. But there are many disadvantages with this. So uh, one of the most basic ones is just the technical requirement of needing to install a pixel. Another big thing is that not everyone who clicks your ad or intends to look at your website will ultimately end up loading it and, and visiting it and seeing what you're offering. So uh, you're going to mitigate that risk. But let's go into some more details here. So the second major reason you do instant experiences is just their fundamental advantages that these have over websites and landing pages. So the first big thing is that they load 15 times faster than your landing page will load. So according to Google's data, it takes about 22 seconds to load a mobile site, uh, which is quite a long time. And um, especially when you take into account that 53% of people will leave the site if it takes longer than three seconds. So that's almost 10 times longer than the uh, the drop-off point for people. So you can see why um, there's going to be this huge drop-off where you may see a lot of people clicking your ad theoretically to go to your website or your landing page, which you can do for most types of Facebook ads. Uh, but really, they don't end up becoming visits at all because they just say, forget this, it's taking too long to load. Now, the second thing is that it's easy and cheap to create. So creating an instant experience can be done with some basic templates. There's no coding skill required. And one thing that I recommend, especially for startups, is that they avoid heavy fixed investments. And heavy fixed investments would be something like a website that could take thousands of dollars to build if no, for no other reason than the simple fact that you need to pay somebody for their labor time to uh, develop that website. Now. Within Facebook, you can build one of these little micro sites within uh, minutes. So it's ridiculously easy. And the other thing that it, it does is it just creates a smoother user experience because everything is managed and hosted within Facebook itself. Let's go through an example of an instant experience that I set up. So I'm looking at a series of ads here. And basically, an instant experience can exist in any type of ad where you would normally send somebody to your website or landing page. Only instead of sending them to that URL, you're going to send them to an instant experience. Now, for example, I have this image ad. This image ad links to an instant experience. So let's take a look at that. So we can see we have the image. We have the text above the image. Uh, everything looks normal here. We have the description, etc. Now, where things get interesting is here, because normally what you would go with is you would select website, and then you would put in a URL for the landing page where you want to send people to. But in this case, what we've done is we've decided to go with an instant experience. So what you would normally do is you would select one of these templates and build one. However, in my case, I already built one. So I'm going to say search for an existing instant experience, and I'll select this. So this means that when people click the ad, instead of going to a landing page, they're able to go to an experience that lives within Facebook itself. And let's take a look at what that looks like. So here's the instant experience. It only took me a few minutes to create. Very, very simple. I have a video that I uploaded here within the interface. And you can see how I did that here. Uh, 
the option to go with a video or slideshow. You could also have chosen to just go with an image, perhaps to get started. I have some title text here uh, talking about myself. So you can see that shows up on the right here. There's also some text below it that gives more details about me and what I'm selling. Uh, you can see that I have this uh, sort of carousel type option here where I'm choosing to sell different products. So I have this course on product marketing. Uh, I uploaded an image. I put in a product headline, a product description. Both of these are required, by the way. You can't get away with just doing an image. And then I put in a URL so that when people click it, they can uh, actually go to the website and get more details. So in that sense, what this instant experience is, is kind of like a, a mid-level point where perhaps somebody's not committed yet to go to the website, uh, but they're more interested than just looking at the ad. So you can kind of put them in this uh, middle ground and then hopefully they go to the website later. Now, if we go to number two here, we can see that I have a, another product that I'm promoting. So if you're promoting something like apparel, these could be like a pair of shoes and a shirt or perhaps six different types of shirts. Uh, but I just have four courses here just to demonstrate how this works. And I have a particular, uh, a particularly longer description for this last one, which, uh, which is fine. And then I have a, a main call to action here, which is the button, which is going to take them to a page that has uh, all the different courses instead of just clicking these individual ones. And you put in the URL at the bottom right here. So um, the other thing to point out here is that we're basically just able to look at this in two ways. One is the basic mobile preview and the other is a preview on Instagram, which is going to uh, send a link to preview it on Instagram. So that's how you would link to an instant experience with a single image ad, but you could also do it with a video ad or pretty much any type of ad. Here, for example, uh, you can see that I have a carousel ad that's promoting myself generally, so not a specific product. Um, I'm talking about how many enrollments I have, some of my experience, etc. So for this carousel ad, it would make sense to send people to an instant experience rather than a specific product page because I'm not promoting a specific product. So what they can do is they can go to the instant experience and then get a better sense of what products they want uh, or would be interested in. So e in e-commerce, for example, this would be a, a simple way of creating a, a shopping experience where you can display multiple different products. But um, Facebook also provides you different templates, so it doesn't have to be this kind of e-commerce experience. Now I'll walk you through how to create an instant experience. So basically you would just go through the normal process of creating a campaign, an ad set, and an ad. And then as you're creating the ad or after you've created the ad, you go in and you edit it. And basically what you're gonna do is go down to the section where you would normally set the destination as website, change that to instant experience. And then what you do is you choose a template. So you have some different options here. There's customer acquisition templates, storytelling template, sell products without a catalog, custom instant experience, and an AR experience. So the example that I used was sell products without a catalog. So let's try that. You can see that there's an image here. So you can choose to replace this image. Uh, for example, I could just load in this one here, or we could choose to uh, upload a video, which is what I did in the earlier example. You change the text to something like the best running shoes on the planet. And you might say XYZ brand. Change the text to uh, Olympic runners always trust our brand for endurance running shoes. You would uh, add some descriptions here for different products. So let's just say that this was an image for another product that you're selling. And you could put in here, maybe it's $64. And you could call it dry fit purple running shirt. And then you could have a URL. Perhaps it's on your uh, e-commerce website, maybe your Shopify website. And you could add in a second product here and replace this image third product, fourth product, you could add more products here. So let's try that. We'll add an image here. We're going to call it uh, dry fit running pants. Uh, these are the fastest running pants for the summer. 
for this summer. And then we could say new technology to keep you dry in the rain, something like that. You put in a URL to the e-commerce page. Now this very simple template also gives you a generic uh, button here that's called the action button. So you could say something like browse our full catalog. Or if you're in the uh, Commonwealth, you could spell catalog this way, and then you would have a generic URL that perhaps would go to your e-commerce homepage or maybe a landing page specific for running. Uh, and then you would hit done. And after some time, what's going to happen is it'll get saved in the system so that when you create new ads or you edit new ads, uh, you'll have the option of selecting this saved instant experience instead of going to a website. But it does take some time, so uh, don't be worried if it's not immediately available. Uh, but this is a very simple way of uh, creating a kind of micro site. Let's walk through some of the other template options when you're creating instant experiences. So first one here is a customer acquisition template. You can see here that there's an image. There's a call to action here. This could say perhaps something like a free consultation or a free test drive. You're selling something like a car. You can see they have this little carousel slideshow experience, which is a little bit different from what we saw previously. Now we can go with the second option here, storytelling. You can see they have this beautiful video playing, some beautiful imagery. And once again, there's a slideshow that people can click through uh, to see different images. So that might make sense perhaps if you're uh, promoting something like real estate or uh, something luxurious like that. Now, maybe you're not satisfied with any of these basic off-the-shelf template. So what you could do is just create a custom instant experience, which is still going to be much simpler than a lot of the template builders out there for websites. And basically what you would do is you would just add different components. So for example, you might decide you want to add a button. So this would be like your call to action button. You can change the colors. Uh, you can change the font, change the destination, etc. You can choose to add other components too. So for example, you can add a carousel with different images, add a photo, you add blocks of text, add a video, add a header, and add a product set. So very simple, uh, like a very rudimentary website template builder.